by Laura Armstrong staff reporter said, May 26, 2018 When it comes to Toronto FC's injury crisis, few know the ups and downs like Nick Hagland. The Reds defender was one of the first hit by the injury bug that has sidelined upwards of 10 players this season and played a part in derailing the early months of their league campaign, which took another hit on Friday night with a 1-0 loss to FC Dallas. It was Toronto's third defeat on home turf this year, already two more than all of 2017. The battle between FC Dallas forward Roland Lama and Toronto FC defender Nick Hagland came to a head in Friday night's match at BMO Field. Steve Russell, Toronto star, Hagland suffered a hamstring strain in training in late March. At that point, he had seen just 59 minutes of league action. While he was out, striker Josie Altador, midfielders Victor Vasquez, Marky Delgado, Ager Akatex and Nico Hassler and defenders Justin Morrow, Eric Zavalita, Chris Mavinga, Drew Moore, Ashton Morgan and Gregory Van Der Weel also missed time through injury. Hagland is no stranger to injury rehab after tearing and spraining left knee ligaments last season. In the end, he'd spent more time on the sideline than on the field in 2017. But he seems to be on the other side of this year's problem, returning as a substitute in Friday night's loss. He came on for Mavinga, who left with hamstring tightness. It's been a journey, but I'm glad to just be able to help the team out in any way. Hagland said. After returning to full training this past week without incident, coach Greg Vanny figured the 25-year-old Hagland could handle 45 minutes in Friday's game. The fact that he came on because of a teammate's injury, though, wasn't part of the plan. During his layoff, Hagland said the key was staying focused on the elements of his recovery that he could control. That keeps me sane, for the most part, he said. A lot of being injured is lonely. You're doing your own thing off on the side, stuff like that. The guys are great to keep me engaged in stuff like that, but there's definitely lonely parts about it. TFC's next five games are against Eastern Conference rivals, against the Columbus Crew on June 2nd, followed by the Philadelphia Union, DC United, New York City FC and New York Red Bulls, and only two will be played at BMO Field. If they're going to make up lost ground in the standings, they sit ninth in the conference at 3-7-1, they could use a few more healthy bodies. The shorthanded roster hurts beyond game days, Captain Michael Bradley said. The quality of practice sessions has also suffered. Despite all that, Bradley added that the club has enough healthy talent to win, a lot to play for in this next stretch, he said. We've got to make sure that we respond in a big way with sports action and reaction delivered to your inbox, new N-E-W-S-L-E-T-T-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S-S-I-G-N-Up.